I'm Paul Marhill. I'm the farm manager at Hardingham Farms. We grow milling wheat, malting barley, sugar beet and oilseed rape on varying soil types in South Norfolk. By sampling the grain as it comes into the shed, we can build up an accurate picture of the grain quality throughout the entire bulk of the grain store and not just the two metres that we can reach from the top. By also writing the field name on the sample bag, we can review our nitrogen input programme and make better decisions for next year. Before harvest, our staff go through an induction process and as part of that process, they learn the Frontier grain sampling protocol. And then when they bring grain into the store, they sample it following that protocol. Frontier supports us by supplying bags for use during harvest and then collecting the samples from our farm office once we've gathered them all. Following sampling, we have a good relationship with our farm trader, Carl Ashworth, and he makes most use of our grain by following those results. The results from self-sampling are invaluable to us. It's very difficult for a sampling spear to get any lower than perhaps four feet down into the grain, uh, and grain walling can often be up to 12 feet tall, so we're, we're only getting about a third of the grain that's in the store. The farmer has invested an awful lot of money and time in producing the crops and it can all be spoilt at the last minute. It uh, gives us an idea of the top spec, the lower spec, and we're then able to place it to a home that can handle all the grain within that spec. Accurate samples really help everyone throughout the chain, including us on the trading side. If we know the quality is there, we can extract value and look for market opportunities that are simply impossible to unlock if we do not know the quality of grain. I think the obvious risk that everyone thinks of is, is rejections, which are obviously very, very costly. But I think another real important fact is the, the missed opportunities for not knowing what you've got in store to sell. Therefore, not extracting premiums from the market simply because you dare not sell it because you do not know the quality of your grain. By looking at the samples from a previous season, it may change and impact how you grow the crop differently going forward. We sold malting barley this previous year, which we sampled into store and it was a varying nitrogen content and we were able to sell part of that bulk as malting barley for a premium and the smaller area which was too high nitrogen for feed. By moving to a collection and sample service, Frontier's aim is to reduce the risk of injury to temporary and often young members of staff. Having multiple visitors on farm during harvest is a problem for us for health and safety reasons. We have a lot of tractors moving around, forklifts, bringing people onto the farm who don't know the layout of the building, of the, of the site, is what we think not the way forward. I think it's better to sample grain as it comes into the store because it gives us a representative sample of our entire bulk. It's safer and really it's easy to do. Frontier can help you to find out the best way for your farm to sample your own grain through instructional videos, online instructions on the Frontier website or from the AHDB.